Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.38 Just as fire is covered by smoke, a mirror by dust, and an embryo by the womb, so the true knowledge of the living being remains covered by different degrees of lust. Sar Ardavashini Lust is the enemy of all, not just of one particular person. This is explained through these examples. Although fire may be dirty and covered by smoke, it can still perform its function of burning. But when a mirror is covered by dust, it loses the characteristic of cleanliness and cannot perform its function of reflecting the image of the object in front of it, although it is still accepted as a mirror. An embryo covered by the womb cannot move its hands and feet, nor can it be recognized as a baby. Similarly, one can remember the supreme goal only when lust is not deep. When lust becomes very deep, such remembrance is impossible. And when it is extremely deep, the world itself appears to be devoid of consciousness. Sar Ardavarshni Prakashikariti The knowledge of those jivas averse to self-realization is covered by the three degrees of lust. Mild, Mridu, Moderate, Madhya and Intense, Tivra. A person whose knowledge is covered by a mild degree of lust can accept instructions on Atma Tattva knowledge of the self, to a certain extent. When a person's knowledge is covered by a moderate degree of lust, then it is completely impossible for him to understand even a little knowledge of the self. And when knowledge is covered by an intense degree of lust, knowledge of the self is not perceived at all. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes Krishna as saying, this whole world is covered by that very lust, in some places mildly, in some places deeply, and in some places very deeply. I will illustrate this with an example. Please listen. A conscious jiva who is mildly covered by lust, just as a fire is covered by smoke, can perform remembrance of Bhagavan, for example. This is the situation of jivas who have taken shelter of Nishkama Karma Yoga and whose consciousness is a little open, Mukulita Chitana, as in the budding stage of a flower. Even if the conscious jiva has a human body, when his consciousness is deeply covered by lust, like a mirror, covered by dust, then it is not possible for him to remember the Supreme Controller. This is the condition of the extreme moralist and atheist, or jivas whose consciousness is shrunken or contracted, sankujita chetana. Examples of this are animals and birds. A jiva whose consciousness is covered by intense lust, like the embryo covered by the womb, possesses completely covered consciousness, ajadita jetana. Examples are creepers, stones and trees.